Hello everyone. Thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is Cassandra and this is Ella Bella Plans. In today's video, I wanted to share a quick what's in my pen case. So this is a Milu rec case in the color camel. I did ask for this custom because I wanted a neutral interior. Um, I can't remember what this fabric is called, but um, yeah, I just kind of wanted something a little less floral. Uh, if you've followed my Instagram for a while, you probably know that I'm obsessed with Milu pen cases. They are the absolute best, especially for the price point. So um, I will leave this linked down below to their Etsy shop. And again, this was custom. So now to get started, I have just begun using the Tombows as highlighters. So I have currently the color 800 and 990 in here. I don't know if I'm going to keep these in here forever. <laughs> uh, the Tombows like are such a cult favorite, but at the same time, I, I kind of prefer my regular old highlighters because I do get a straight line, but I do love um, the neutral. So those are the two Tombows I have in here. And then I also, as per usual, have just like this little wooden bookmark. I like to use this to cut washi and draw straight lines. My Rider Die pen, my Pilot High Tech C Coletto. So I just have uh, 0.5 ink in here in black and red. And another favorite is the Uniball Jet Stream. This I got with my Hobonichi purchase from 2019. Uh, this has black, blue, and red ink. I believe they use 0.38 uh, cartridges, but not 100%. So after those, I do also keep the Tombow Furunosuke, Furunosuke, ooh, um, basically just their brush pens. I don't know why though, I don't use these all the time. Usually I'll have like family ask if I'll write something, so I keep them in here for those purposes, but it's been a while since I've actually done any lettering. So I have both of those in there, the hard brush and the soft. Also in here, I'm keeping a Sarasa Dry. I love to use the Sarasa Dry when I'm actually drawing lines in my bullet journals because they dry super fast. So I have the 04 in here currently. And then I do also switch out the ink in my Sarasa Grand that I currently have on my planner. Uh, this has Sarasa Dry ink in it though in an 05. And then another Uniball Jet Stream. And then this will have the same colors. I don't know if you can see on here. It has red, blue, and black ink. And then I believe I switched these out to an 05. It came with an 07 if I'm remembering right. And then this was uh, a purchase because if you follow Monique over at Legalized Glitter on Instagram. This is a pen that she always swears by. And so I purchased a pack of these just from my local Walmart. Um, and I keep this in a bag for when I'm writing checks or if someone needs to borrow a pen, but also like a really great pen if you just need a regular old ballpoint. So I keep one of these in here and also you usually have one floating in my handbag. And oh my gosh, did I even say what pen this was? <laughs> this is the Pentel RSVP and Fine. I don't even think I said what it was. I was just, you know, saying who I who I found it from. Uh, these two are actually from a shop by PR for Nora's Cove. So this is a pencil, which I'm finding super handy for homeschooling. And then I don't know if it tells me. This has 07 lead in it. And then I have this gel pen again from Nora's Cove as well. And this is an 05. I usually will also keep two mild liners. As you can see, this one is very well loved, but so I just have the gray and brown mild liners in here. This pen came recommended from the Cloth and Paper Facebook group, the Uni Pin to write on their transparent sticky notes. So I have one of these in here. It's an oil-based ink. I am not a huge fan of writing with like felt tip or soft tip sort of things, but uh, this does do a phenomenal job on writing on anything transparent or like glossy stickers. 
And then when I plan, I like to keep an X-Acto knife and then also a tweezers for just in case. So that is it for a what's in my pen case. Um, in case you didn't see my last video about my currently inked fountain pens, I do also keep this gallon leather pen case with me as well. And this just has my currently inked fountain pens, a Lamy Safari, Pilot Vanishing Point, Twisby Diamond 580, and a Twisby Eco. And then if you're curious as to what I have these all inked with, I do have another video of that. Should be just before this one. But yeah, so there you have it. That's my quick little what's in my pen case. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Thanks for watching.